Let's do a problem. So here in this problem, the graph shows the distance traveled by Mohan using his vehicle against the fuel left in the tank. Study the graph and answer the following questions based on the graph. Here, real life context has been explained with the help of XY Cartesian coordinate system. Positive direction of X axis represents distance traveled in kilometers and positive direction of Y axis represents available fuel in liters. In the first part, amount of fuel keeps on decreasing as the vehicle keeps on moving. So here in the first part, we want to find the amount of fuel remaining in the vehicle when it has traveled 450 kilometers. In the second part, we want to find out if Mohan refilled the fuel on the way and if yes, then how much fuel did he refill? Also in this problem, in third part, we want to find the mileage of the vehicle. Mileage is number of kilometers run per unit liter of fuel. Let's discuss the approach for solving this question. For the first part, we have already discussed that as the vehicle travels, the amount of fuel in the vehicle decreases. For the second part, till 300 kilometers, the fuel was constantly decreasing and at 300 kilometers, the fuel suddenly increases. Why does this happen? Does Mohan refill the vehicle? We will answer this question in the solution. For the third part, mileage of the vehicle depends on the number of kilometers traveled for fixed volume of fuel consumed. With the help of the graph, we will calculate the mileage of the vehicle. With this approach, let's solve the problem. For the first part, we have to find the amount of fuel remaining in the vehicle when the vehicle has traveled 450 kilometers. We know for a point in the graph of a line, so for the first case, x coordinate is given to be 450 kilometers. So for this point, very easily we can find the y coordinate, that is the amount of fuel left in the vehicle. So amount of fuel left will be 15 liters. So here we can write 15 liters as the answer for the first part. For the second part we have to find is there any refill on the way and if yes then by how much. So here in the graph we can see that it is constantly decreasing and at this point there is a sudden increase in the amount of fuel in the vehicle. Can it be due to refilling? Yes, definitely it is due to refilling. So this portion of the graph between these two red dots shows refilling. So the answer here is yes, there is refilling. And by how much? That we can see. At this point, the fuel left in the vehicle is 5 liters. And at this point, the fuel becomes 25 liters. So definitely, the fuel filled in the tank is 25 minus 5, that is 20 liters. Let's do the third part. Let's find the mileage of the vehicle. Formula for mileage is distance traveled by amount of fuel consumed. And how do we find distance traveled and amount of fuel consumed from the graph? For this, we will take two points on the graph. Suppose this point A and this point B. Let's find the horizontal and vertical distances between these two points. So BC is the horizontal distance between the points and it represents distance. And AC is the vertical distance and it represents the amount of fuel consumed. So our mileage will be given by Distance travelled is, so from the graph we can see this will be 300 minus 150 kilometers divided by fuel will be 15 minus 5 
that is liters so this will be 150 by 10 equal to 15 kilometers per liter so this is the mileage of the vehicle So in this problem, we interpreted the graph of fuel consumed against the distance travel. The slope of the line here gives the idea of the mileage of vehicle and when graph is not a straight line, this implies there is an intervention which affects its normal expected behavior.